The biggest mistake that people make when it comes to living in the end, that is what I'm going to be sharing with you today. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Natalie, and this is As The Pennies Drop. Now, this channel is all about creating a life you love, deserve, and desire. I am a conscious manifestation coach and a neurotransformation therapy practitioner, and I provide a variety of one-on-one -on -one coaching solutions to guide you into releasing these traumas, limiting beliefs, blocks, disempowering thoughts, to get the life that you deserve, to get those manifestations to you as quickly, as easily, and as effortlessly as possible. So if you would like to find out more, please click on the link below. Just as an added note, my email coaching at the moment is currently full. So if you go to my website, you'll see you can't actually book in for email coaching. I don't want to take people's money and not be able to deliver the service. So <clears throat> as soon as that becomes available again, um, I will let you know. Okay, so back to the video, the people's biggest mistake when it comes to living in the end of the wish fulfilled. And <clears throat> this is questioning. Questioning yourself, where is it? Why don't I have it? How long is it going to take? Before I should actually say what living in the end is for those people that don't know. So living in the end um, is a Neville Goddard um, term about getting into the state of the wish fulfilled. So becoming the person, the version of the person that has their desire already. Now, when I was um, learning about manifesting my specific person back, you know, I, um, and even before when I didn't know about manifesting um, my specific person, um, I should have said, <clears throat> I was actually doing that without realizing it. Um, and I'm going to go through kind of the steps um, as to kind of why people make these big mistakes and kind of how I was able to manifest my specific person back and other things in my life um, by becoming the version of the person that is the person that has the desire. So it is living in the state of the wish fulfilled, but living in the end. So like I said, the biggest mistake that people make is they start questioning and they start allowing that mindset to tell them to kind of give up. It's not going to happen. You know, you can't manifest. Um, where is it? Why don't I have it yet? You know, you're coming from that place of just needing and kind of, a, you know, I've done everything I can possibly think of. Why isn't it working? <clears throat> If you're in that state, you are not in the state of the wish fulfilled. You're not in that living in the end state of being the version of the person that has the desire that they want. Um, and I remember when I used to listen to these types of videos and think, well, how the hell do you get into that state? How do you become the version of the person that has what it is that you want when you so want it, when you're so kind of honestly desperate for it, but you just want it to be with you now? And why wouldn't you want it to be with you now? Exactly. But, <clears throat> but how do we get into that state? Well, the simple way is to get, by, to get that version, to be the version of the person that is the person that already has the desire through that feeling of knowing and confidence of just knowing 100% for sure that it is yours. How do you get there when you don't have it? And this is where you, um, so there's, there's two different things that kind of I, I've done in the past and I've shared this with you. This is why there was so many, there's a variety of different techniques that you can do. All these techniques are designed to get you into that state of the wish fulfilled, to get you into that feeling state, that knowing state, that confident, certain that what you desire is yours. So whether that's using affirmations, scripting, um, visualizing, you know, creating imaginal acts, um, using a variety of different techniques, you, you know, within all of that, you know, the the um, the phone call technique with a friend, the whispering technique, the eavesdropping technique, whatever it is, what it's doing is getting you into that state of being certain that what it is that you want is actually already with you. So to get into that state to get to be the version of the person that has their specific person that's in that loving relationship that has the money or the dream job or the promotion, um, you know, whatever it is, you want to become that by doing the work in the background. This is the way that I know how to do this, to get into the living in the end state. It's letting go of the obsession of <clears throat> needing it. 
it's kind of getting into a place of accepting where you are and then it's telling the story of what it is that you want and it's persisting in that it's persisting in the story of the desired outcome that you want and you can start that with affirmations and visualizing and scripting and you might not even believe it you might not even get that feeling to start with but the more you persist in the story of the outcome of whatever that desire is whether it's specific person money promotion you know new job <clears throat> the more you do the work the more you'll start to believe it, to feel it even, the more you'll start to feel it, the more you'll start to get more confident in the knowing that actually it can be yours. And you'll start to get that feeling of this is mine. It will gradually start to kind of creep up on you. That's exactly what I did with my business. It's exactly what I did when I was manifesting my, my specific person back. Now, um, when I was manifesting my specific person back, and um, I used to do, I'd started off in, in a completely anxious state. Um, and then I would do affirmations. I would write my affirmations every single day, every single day in the morning, I would write them and I would read them and I would read them throughout the day. And whenever I needed to catch my negative thought, um, and the more I did that, the more I got into the, the, the feeling of it to be true. And the more I became more certain, and for me, it was a gradual process to get there. But the more I did the work in the background, the more I was able to get into that, to become the version of the person that had my specific person. And it's the same with my business. Um, the more I was affirming and looping the story of my business growing, the more I started to feel that to be true it was just it was true my business is growing you know um I do have loads of clients um I have created a lavish steady dependable income consistent of integrity and mutual benefit the more I would say these things the more I would feel it to be true the more I was certain and that being certain the more you're in that certain state of that feeling of having what it is that you already that you desire that is when you are truly in the living in the end state. Another time when I manifested my specific person back, I accepted where I was and I got on with my life. But without realizing it, when I was thinking about him, I was thinking about him as though we were kind of, we were still together. I was just thinking about old memories of us and having loads of fun and, you know, that feeling, that lovely, warm, fuzzy feeling that it would give me um, kind of when I would think about him and things that we'd done together. And that's, my that was my living in the end state you know I didn't know then that that's what I was doing but that was truly my living in the end state um when we're truly in that living in the end state we are certain of knowing and believing it's just a no it's just you just know it's yours because you are that version of the person that has it now it didn't mean that I was kind of walking around you know, kind of pretending to hold his hand or anything like that. I was just in a state of feeling that warm, fuzzy feeling that we were together. That 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 was it. That's what I did. So when you are <clears throat> working on the living in the end state of getting into that feeling of becoming the version of the person that has the desired outcome and you're questioning it, you're not in the living in the end state. When you get to that state because you've done enough of the work, and you're more constantly in the state than you're not, and you're able to feel that lovely warm feeling of having whatever that desire is, and then you can continue throughout your day, just living your life and going on with your life, that is the true living in the end state. Any questions about this, please feel free to comment below. Um, like share and subscribe as always um uh, just under three thousand now woohoo so yeah let's uh, see if we can get that four thousand for christmas that would be so cool anyway i really hope that's helped um and uh, like i said yeah any questions just holla <laughs> take care I'll see you soon